and welcome to another episode of Wagstaff Explains. Today's topic, scatter plots and trend lines. Let's take a look at our question. The table below shows the number of CDs in millions that were purchased from 2004 to 2013. So we're going to start by creating a scatter plot on our calculator using the data in this table. So let's go to our calculator. So in our calculator, we're going to start by entering in our data. So let's go to stat. Let's choose option one for edit. And we're going to enter in the years into L1 and the number of CDs into L2. So we're going to start with 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, and 2013. Okay, now we need to arrow over to L2 and enter in the number of CDs. So 960, 955, 950, 930, 900, 879, 810, 745, 740, and 730. Make sure that you have the same number of data in L1 in and in L2. Otherwise, you would get an error message. So now let's make sure that our stat plot is turned on. So let's go home first. Now let's do second y equals and we want to turn on our stat plot so let's pick option one and then just press enter and now our stat plot is turned on and so now we can adjust our window and look at our data at the same time by pressing zoom and then option nine so i'll show you what option nine looks like just so that you see what the option is. So zoom nine is zoom stat, so we're just gonna press nine. You don't have to arrow down. And so now we can see our scatter plot. So let's go back to our question. Okay, now we're done with our scatter plot and we can see the scatter plot here in our screen. So now we can answer the next question. Does the data show positive, negative, or no association? So now positive association, the data points will be going in an upward trend. These data points are going in a downward trend. So this is actually a negative association. Now no association, the scatter points would be all over the screen. But again, these are in a downward trend, so it does represent a negative association. So now we can go to the second part of our problem, which is to create a trend line. So let's go back to our calculator. Okay, now we're back at our calculator and we see that we have our scatter plot. So now we want to draw a trend line. So let's press stat arrow over to calc and let's press option four for linear regression. We want to arrow down to store reg, which is here. So we're gonna arrow down so that our cursor is at store reg. And then we want to press the VARS key. 
We want to arrow over to Y bars. We want to press option one for function. And then option one again to get Y1. So now we see Y1 appears right next to linear regression equation. And so now we want to arrow down to calculate and then press enter. So now our calculator is showing us the equation that it's going to use to graph the trend line. So if we press graph, we can go to see our graph. Wow, look at that. So now it's graphing the trend line based on that equation. So now let's go back to our question. Okay, so the next question says, does the data show linear or nonlinear relationship? So in this case, because a straight line, which represents a linear, can be drawn between the data points, it is a linear relationship. So now the next question says, if the trend continued, about how many CDs would be purchased in 2020? So this question is asking us to make a prediction based on our trend line. So we need to go back to our calculator one final time to make a prediction. Okay, so now that we're back at the calculator and we have our trend line, now we need to make a prediction. So we're going to go to second window, which is table set. And here we're going to tell the calculator where we want our table to start. And so since we're trying to make a prediction for the year 2020, we can actually start our table at 2020. Okay, so now that we've done that, now we can see the results of the table. So we can see the X and Y table starting at 2020. We do that by pressing second graph to go to table. And so now our table starts at 2020 and it gives us the prediction based on our trend line. So let's go back to our question. So now we're back at our question and we can use the table to get the data to make the prediction. So in the year 2020, we can predict that about 513 CDs would be purchased. Thank you for watching another episode of Wagstaff Explains. Now you know how to create scatter plots and trend lines.